Okay, so here we're trying to represent this here in simplest form, and that's 12x to the third minus 6x squared plus 2x all over 2x. Now really, you can think of this as 12x to the third over 2x minus, right, 6x squared again over 2x and plus 2x over 2x. Now, when I was younger, it's always confused me, right? Why do we divide everything by 2x? Why not just divide uh, one of the terms once by 2x? But then if you remember kind of the way fractions work in general, like let's say we have um, 6 fifths minus 2 fifths minus 1 fifth. Notice we have 6 divided by 5, minus 2 divided by 5, and minus 1 divided by 5. 6 and 2 and 1 are all being divided by the same number. They're all being divided by 5. However, they all have the same denominator, right? They all have 5. These are all fifths. So really, you can solve it by subtracting the numerators, which is 6 minus 2 minus 1, and that's over 5, right? And if you get going here, you get, right, 3 fifths. But I kind of want to focus on this right here because what this looks like to me is 3 terms over 5. And if we went backwards, we would see, oh, that means they're each being divided by 5. Right? That's just the basic um, algorithm we use for adding and subtracting fractions. Once the denominator is the same, we can just um, combine them all in the numerator with only writing the denominator once. So it's already been done here, except the 1, 2, 3 terms are all over 2x. Right? That's the fraction that they are in terms of, so they're each being divided by 2x. Kind of like each of these were being divided by, by 5. So what does that mean? Well, in the first right term, we have 12x to the third over 2x. Now, 2x really represents 2x to the 1. So x is to the first power. So 12 divided by 2, we can just divide those numbers and get 6. x to the third divided by x to the first, we subtract the exponents, it's x squared. And then we just keep going. Um, we have minus 6x squared over 2x to the first. 6 over 2 is 3. x squared over x to the first is just x. And then the last term should be 1, right? 2x over itself is just plus 1. And that's our answer. And you can see it here in choice 3. So I would just break up, you know, you get a question like this, break up each term in the numerator and divide each of them by the, the term in the denominator. Except don't forget to keep track of your signs. In this case, it was subtract here and then add there. Don't lose track of that. All right, thanks.